Hi, my name is Becky Wagon. I am the coordinator for Operation Christmas Child in the counties of Jefferson, Belmont, and Monroe in Ohio, and Hancock, Brook, Ohio, and Marshall in West Virginia. We're here today for a training of our short-term volunteers during National Collection Week, which is the third week of November each year, the week before Thanksgiving. Your help is much appreciated and valued, and we could not do this without you. You are an integral cog in our wheel of success. As you greet the, the donors, have a smile on your face and be friendly. Help them unload their vehicle willingly. As they enter your facility, offer them a refreshment, free Operation Christmas Child materials. Talk with them about Operation Christmas Child and the journey of a shoebox, along with the great impact the shoebox has on the child's life. Then offer to pray over their shoeboxes with them before they leave. Now I'm going to go over the drop-off log, line by line. I cannot stress enough the importance of accuracy on these logs. They are used to keep accurate counts of shoeboxes coming into the drop-off locations, for donor contact information, and for team leader contact information for church and community groups. We like to have one person designated to do the logs each time the drop-off is open. This helps keep continuity in recording. First, we have the location code. Use a D for each drop-off location and a C for the central drop-off location. Then add the zip code to the um, drop-off location. C will only be used for the central drop-off location, which is the Vineyard Church. Everyone else will be using a D. The date is important that it is correct since the number of shoeboxes will be used to match the summary sheet each day. Each day starts a new sheet, even if there's an empty spot at the bottom. Do not cut the log sheets in half. Leave them intact. The number of shoeboxes, ask the donor how many shoeboxes they're bringing in. Then you do a count to confirm the accuracy before entering the number on the drop-off log. Check whether it's an individual or a church, then the name of the individual or church, whether the address is for the individual or the church, and fill the rest of it in. Please use black or blue ink, no pencils please. Use, if someone comes in and doesn't want to be acknowledged, write anonymous in this line right here. Be sure that each line has something written on it. No blank lines. If there's no information for something, put N-A in the line. But make sure that this is completely filled out. The contact person for the community group or church goes here and their phone number. If the information isn't available, write N-A. There's room for two donors on each page. So remember, use a new page each day Use a letter D or C up here in the location along with your zip code. Enter the date on each page. Double count the shoe boxes that are dropped off. And do not cut this page in half. During this segment, we will be talking about packing the shoe boxes into the cartons. As you receive the shoe boxes, you'll want to fill the cartons provided by Operation Christmas Child. When setting up the carton, put two pieces of tape, packing tape, across the bottom. We strive to get at least 16 shoe boxes in each carton, though we understand the huge shoe boxes are cumbersome to pack. Pack as many as you can without overstuffing and bulging of the cartons. Here's a short clip on the technique of packing a carton. So we're going to show the easy way to pack if you have the standard Operation Christmas Child boxes. They're all the same size. So here's a quick mock-up of how it'll look in the box. This will be your bottom layer, all standing up. There's 15. And then top layer, you can get five going across, one on the side. It's not quite enough to do here. So I'm going to show you this. You 
need to stagger the lids so they're going the opposite direction because they do stick out a little bit. After the carton is full and you're sure of the number of shoe boxes enclosed, place one strip of packing tape across the top and write the number of shoe boxes enclosed in the designated area. Only write in the designated area the amount of shoe boxes. Do not write carton numbers. This will be done at the central uh, collection area when you deliver the cartons. Remember, accuracy is of the utmost importance. Carton numbers must equal number of shoe boxes on the drop-off log. The short-term volunteer form is another important piece of information. It's used by the national team to maintain funding and by me, the area coordinator, to, for prospect team members. Each person volunteering for Operation Christmas Child is required to fill out one of these forms, regardless of the number of hours of volunteering. It's only used for information by Samaritan's Purse and is not shared by anyone else. It's very similar to the drop-off log in that it should be filled out in blue or black ink and completely filled out. Use NA on any line that there is no information, such as an email address. In the location code, put your D or your C and the zip code of the drop-off location. Then fill in your name and address along this line, these places. Put NA for no information available. In this area, it's asking you if you would become a long-term, year-round volunteer. If you consider that, please check yes. There are many positions on our team. Some are more time-consuming than others, but all are vital to the operation of our team. We're a young team. We need to have some year-round volunteers. Each day, enter the number of hours that you volunteered, and at the end of the week, the hours will be tallied. It's a very easy form, but important that it's done by each volunteer. Sometimes, when donors bring in shoeboxes, they have extra items to be donated. If this happens, ask them if they want to be anonymous or acknowledged with their gifts. If they are to be anonymous, place the items in an empty carton and put a filler item sheet <coughs> with anonymous checked and the location of the um, drop-off site. If the donor <coughs> requests to be acknowledged, Check this box and put the date and the location site on a, on a box, a carton from Operation Christmas Child, and then you need to fill in this gift in kind form. The top line will be left blank. It is for uh, an account number that they will fill in later. Fill in the personal information and then come down to this area and put in the number and a description of what he is donating. Be as specific as possible. We understand that that can't always happen. Leave this area and this area blank. Come down here and put the, uh, it's submitted by the date and the location code. And then take this sheet and put it in a plastic bag with all the items that are being donated for acknowledgement. It can be a grocery bag, a garbage bag, whatever it takes. Tie the bag up with this form in it, place it in an empty carton, and on the outside of the carton, you will have the donor request acknowledgement checked. Many donations can go in the same box if they request acknowledgement, but they need to be separated into plastic bags. The summary sheet. As a drop-off team leader, it is very important that accuracy is your main concern. Each day, the number of shoeboxes from the drop-off log must equal the number of shoeboxes in the packed cartons. If they do not tally that day, the cartons must be unpacked and counted again. It is vital that everything matches, and it is your responsibility to make sure this happens. Each day should be tallied and recorded. That way it's easier to find mistakes 
and correct them. Keep side notes or do whatever you need to do to make this happen. Enter your grand total at the end of the week. And then it's also at the end of the National Collection Week, this bottom part has to be filled out with the number of volunteers, the volunteer hours, the number of Operation Christmas Child cartons used, and the number of extra cartons used. If you run out of Operation Christmas Child cartons, you can go to Walmart, Kroger, wherever you can get boxes. Add how many of those you have on this line. Make sure the summary sheet is filled out completely. Each drop-off is provided a closure packet, and it's to be used to return your paperwork to the central drop-off. This closure packet should be given to the central drop-off team leader when delivering your cartons on the final Monday of uh, uh, National Collection Week. The closure packets must be done accurately, ensuring the shoebox counts are consistent across the board each day. It is vital that these counts are double-checked each day for accuracy. I cannot stress this enough. The, these items must be included in your closure packet in this order. Your summary sheet, the short-term volunteer information forms, and the shoebox drop-off logs. Please make copies of all your paperwork in the event that something gets misplaced or lost in transit. Stay at the central drop-off until the paperwork is checked by the, for completeness and accuracy by the central drop-off team leader. National Collection Week is a busy time for Operation Christmas Child, and we couldn't do it without volunteers like yourself. You are on our team, and we appreciate all your hard work and dedication. Thank you.